so guys in today's video i'll show you how you can add the cropping mark and the bleed in your photoshop to any documents or any image that you want to print and in this video i'll show you the details tutorial you can see here one of my photo and the cover of the book i want to print that i have already added the mark using the photoshop so in today's video i'll show you how to do this very easily and very quick so do not let me check out today's video and if you need to be my channel please consider subscribing or if you already did so thank you so much So basically this tutorial you can flow with any version of the photoshop here i'm using the photoshop cs6 you can also use the photoshop uh, cc and any other version that available in the market you can follow with any of the version of the photoshop so first of all we need to open a pdf document inside our photoshop so i just go to my file manager and browse a file that i want to add the bleed so in this video i'll show you the both both the bleed and the copying mark so first of all i open a document you can see here is my documents so this is our document so now you need to add the bleed in this photo so what you need to do so basically what is bleed bleed is something that go out of this space like if we want to add something in, in the outside that is actually the printing bleed because when something we print on a press that then after printing they used to cut this with the perfect size so this is actually needed for bleed so first of all we need to select the image and zoom out a little bit so we can see the outside of this image now we need to use the ruler here if you don't see this you can just press ctrl r from your keyboard and you can see this so once we get the ruler we, we can just click on here and drag and set it with the end of the photo here you can see i get two of these and these two so now you can see we have marked the layout of this photo and now we need to do extend the outside of this image like the bleed we need to create the bleed so to create the bleed we need to click on the top bar and then select canvas size and here you need to select the relative you can see then we select the relative and then we increase the bleed you can choose the size from here how much you need half inch see in this pixels or millimeters so i i will take the millimeters now and i will take 10 millimeters on the both now i press ok now you can see we have already created, created the bleed so this is the way to create the bleed now we will add a cropping mark on the bleed so basically this is very useful to printing and cut your papers according to the cropping mark so to do this first of all you need to go to this selection tool and from here uh, you just see the single row marquee tool and once you come here you need to create a new layer and just select the previous level and then click here on the row you can see we have selected this so what we need to do now we just create a new layer and we can rename this one like the crop mark now we need to go to the edit and from here into the stroke and here you can add a stroke using this marquee tool and you can select the white of this cross mark and also the color we are using the black and one pixel so just click ok next you again select this tool and click on the bottom ruler mark that we have added previously so just click here and also do the same thing the stroke now once you've done the top and the bottom then you need to select the uh, single column marquee tool this one and then click on the side here you can see we have selected now again the stroke and again also on the right side so I select this one edit and the stroke and then, okay so our cropping mark have been finished but we need to do some editing because uh, in this way you cannot see the cropping mark clearly so I just press ctrl D from the keyboard and we unselect everything now select the cropping mark layer from here and then from the rectangular mark you tool and then you need to click here like this and then drag here on the end of this okay so now press ctrl x from your keyboard and it will automatically delete the extra cropping mark from your photo as you are working on the cropping mark then our photo will not delete from here so now i just press ctrl shift s and save this on my desktop 
and I click save so this is all uh, now our document have been editing finished now we can see the doc how it look like so now you can see we have already added the cropping mark here and also the bleed so i hope guys understand how to do this one so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i will try to help you so see you on the next video till then stay happy stay blessed